In this video, we're going to look at dimensional analysis. Now, by definition, dimensional analysis is the practice of checking relationships by the help of dimensions and units of measurements. These dimensions are independent of the numerical multiples and constants. All the quantities in the world can be expressed as a function of the fundamental dimensions. Now, let's start to look at the basic rules of dimensional analysis. So two physical quantities can only be equated if they have the same dimensions. Number two, two physical quantities can only be added if they have the same dimensions. So this one or this one, even uh, subtraction applies. In order for quantities to be added or subtracted, they must have the same dimensions then the third one is the dimension of the multiplication of two quantities is given by the multiplication of the dimensions of the same two quantities that are multiplied then the basic quantities the basic physical quantities they are seven basic uh, physical quantities and that is the mass, length, time, temperature, light intensity, current, and amount of substance. But in dimensional analysis, we only or we usually consider three basic or fundamental quantities. So these quantities are length, mass, and time. So these are the ones that we work with in dimensional analysis so now having looked at these uh, quantities let us look at the applications of dimensional analysis so dimensional analysis is used to check the correctness or consistency of the physical equation or dimensional equation so about the consistency the, the correctness or consistency of a formula then also how to derive the relation between physical quantities in physical phenomena so yeah, deriving uh, the relations or relationships between physical quantities in a physical phenomenon or phenomena then this one or the dimensional analysis is also used to change units from one system to another having looked at the applications let us finally look at the limitations of dimensional analysis so the limitations of dimensional analysis this method does not tell us how to determine the proportionality constant value the method cannot be considered to derive composite relations. The formula containing trigonometric function, exponential function, and logarithmic function cannot be derived from it. And the last one is the method cannot be used to derive the relationship between more than three quantities. In the next video, we are going to look at how we can use dimensional analysis to derive the relationships between physical quantities. Thank you so much.